You were such an incredible young lady, Abigail. You were everything I always wanted and never thought I ever deserved. You look absolutely sensational today. You are a truly beautiful person, both inside and out, and that is clear for everyone to see. You have been with me for the craziest years of my life, helping with each challenge that I've faced and every big decision that I've made along the way. Your ongoing love and support has helped me immensely over the years. You've helped shape me into the man that I now am today. And I may be a little bit biased saying this, but I think you've done a pretty good job. Now I've known Luke and Abby as a couple for almost as long as I've known Luke. And I can say with certainty that when they got together, we wouldn't stop going on and on about how he had managed to get such a wonderful girl. In fact, the best story I can say to prove this is when our school decided it would be a good use of school resources to take a bunch of teenagers to Disneyland Paris. This trip lasted for a short three days and two very long nights. The days went quickly with all the rides and shopping. The nights, however, were very long because Luke kept me up all night talking about how fantastic Abby is. So I'm not surprised that I'm standing here today. We all knew this day would come. Luke, are you willing to give yourself in Christian marriage to Abby? I am. Will you love her and comfort her, honour and keep her in sickness and in health and be faithful to her as long as you both live? I will. This is where I normally ask the father of the bride, who may well be standing over here somewhere, but isn't on this occasion. He's standing where I'm standing. Can I just invite my wife just for one moment? Who gives this woman to be married to this man? I do. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. I think it's obvious to everyone here today that uh, Lucas struck gold with Abby. Yeah, he's come first. He's come first in the race to win her heart, which is surprising, really, as considering he's a Liverpool fan, you'd think he'd have been happy coming fourth. <laughs> Sam and I are very proud, of course, of this young lady here to my left. Over the years, we've had the privilege of watching her blossom from a gorgeous baby daughter into the radiant woman that we see before us today. Two of you make a fantastic couple. Individually, you're both great, but as a partnership, you are awesome. And we wish you every happiness now and in the future. Our greatest wish for the two of you is that through the years, your love will so deepen and grow that years from now, you'll look back on this day, your wedding day, as the day that you loved each other the least. make an incredible team Abigail and this is just the start of our long journey together which I can't wait to get started. I want you to know that I will do everything I can to put a smile on your face each and every day even when life gets tough. I want to be a husband that you can be proud of in the same way that I'm so very proud of you. Thank you for marrying me today. You're everything that I could ever hope for in a wife and more. So to cut that off, can everyone please be upstanding for a toast to the most beautiful woman in the room, 
my incredible wife, Abigail. It's usually a custom for the best man to lay into the groom <laughs> and to reel off all the crazy times he got into trouble. But the truth is, Luke is a genuinely nice guy. And it's hard to dish a dirt on somebody that brightens up any room, simply by walking out of it. 